Azul is a board game for two to four players that plays in 30 to 45 minutes. In this game, you are Tylers working on the walls of the Royal Palace of Evora and hoping to create beautiful patterns to impress King Manuel I. Give each player a player board. You can choose to play using the standard side with a multicolored wall on the right, or an advanced variant where you get to arrange your tiles more freely by using the grey wall. For your first few games, we recommend playing the standard mode. Whichever you pick, everyone has to use the same side. Place a scoring marker, that's the little black cube, on the zero space of your board's point track. Arrange the circular boards in the middle of the table. These are called factories. You need five factories for two players, seven for three, and all nine if you're playing with four. Give the first player marker, that's the white tile with the one, to the person who's most recently gone to Portugal. If nobody's been to Portugal, then pick whoever's name starts with the letter closest to A. Fill the bag with the rest of the coloured tiles and randomly draw four tiles and put them on each of the factories and you are ready to play. In Azul, you're aiming to add tiles to your wall in order to score points. Your wall is the section on the right hand side of the board. You add tiles to your wall by first forming complete rows of matching tiles on the left side of the board. You fill the rows by claiming tiles from the factories. At the beginning of every round, the player with the first player marker places it in the middle of the table. They will take the first turn. The first phase of each round involves players taking it in turns to either claim tiles from one of the factories or from the middle of the table. When you claim tiles from a factory, you must take all of the tiles of the same colour from that factory. Any tiles of a different colour are added to the middle of the table instead. Instead of taking from a factory, you can claim tiles from the middle of the table. Again, you must take all of the tiles of the same colour. If you are the first player to take from the middle of the table, then you must also take the first player marker and add it to the floor line at the bottom of your player board. But we'll explain what that means in a second. When you claim tiles, you must add them to one of the rows on the left of your player board. You can only add the tiles you claimed that turn to a single row, but you can choose which row to place them in, except in later rounds when you can't place tiles in a row which already has a tile of that colour on the wall. You're aiming to fill an entire row with tiles, filling the spaces from right to left. If a row already has one colour in, then you can't add tiles of another colour to the same row. But you can add tiles of the same colour to a row left incomplete during an earlier turn to finish up. Each row holds a different number of tiles from 1 to 5. Any tiles that do not fit in the row that you're filling must be added to your floor line, along with the first player marker if you claim it from the middle of the table. The floor line is worth negative points at the end of the round. Each space that's filled loses you that number of points. That's right, each space. Don't worry, you can't end up with fewer than zero points. Once all of the tiles have been claimed from the factory boards and the middle of the table, the second phase of the round begins, and it's time to tile your wall. During this phase, everyone can carry out these steps at the same time. Starting with the top row of your board, for each complete row of matching tiles on the left, you add a tile of that colour to your wall on the right. When you add a tile to the wall, you score one point if it isn't touching any other tiles. If the tile touches any tiles in the same row or column, you score bonus points. You score one point for each connected tile in the same row or column, plus one point for the tile you just placed. This includes any tiles next to those tiles in the same row or column as the tile that you just placed too, and so on. But importantly, when adding up your bonus for this row and column, count the tile you just placed again if there are connected tiles in both the row and column. For example, if you place a tile and there is one tile above it and one tile to its side, you would score four points. After adding up your score and moving your score marker, take away points for any tiles in the floor line. Remember that you lose each amount of points for a filled space. Used tiles, except for the first player marker, are then placed in the box lid and use them to refill the bag if it runs out. Refill the factories with four tiles from each bag and you begin a new round. The game ends when one player completes a full row of tiles on their wall. You play to the end of the current round, including tiling your wall and scoring as usual. Once the normal scoring has taken place, the final round has one final scoring phase. Players score two points for each complete row they have on their wall, plus seven points for complete columns they have, and if you have five tiles of a matching colour on your wall, you score ten extra points. This applies to every tile colour. After you've added everything up, the higher score wins, and ties are won by whoever had the most complete columns. And that's how you play us all. Thanks very much for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, then you can see plenty more like it here on Dicebreaker. We are your one-stop shop for anything board game, card game, miniature game, or anything else that you can play on a table related. 
We've got all kinds of content like Let's Plays, lists, reviews, why you should plays, and all kinds of RPG content and miniature games as well. If you like this, then you might want to head on over to our website, dicebreaker.com, for lots of editorial of the same stuff. And you can also grab some merch from my Shopify by going to dicebreaker.myshopify.com. Thanks very much for watching, and please click on one of the videos on the bottom of the screen so you can get some more of our content, and I will see you in the next video. Before then, though, have a lovely day. Thank you.